Hi guys, Amy Hunt, Home Business Expert. This is an AutoDS lister. So in other words, I'm gonna teach you how to list an item in AutoDS and not only list one item, but list multiple items, how to upload, how to upload in a schedule. Um, so this is actually an amazing tool. I've been drop shipping since the year 2003. I cannot believe this software exists. Um, to make life so easy. I mean, there there is semi-auto and there is manual drop shipping. This is something else. Check out the rest of my video to see how you can list items and get started easily, probably under 15 minutes. All right, see you on the other side. Okay, once you add account, and you accept eBay's third-party agreements, then this is where you set up your information uh, as far as what your account configuration would be. So in other words, how much money do you wanna make off of the, the items that you're actually listing? So I like to go actually for higher uh, cost items, but you may wanna do lower cost items, especially if you're just getting started out. I like to list stuff that's over 100, but for sake of you, got, you guys just getting started, what I would do is, um, uh, in my opinion, then, and I'm talking about this additional profit, like how do you know what to put? So if something's a hundred dollars and I make 10% profit off of it, let's just say I make $10. I know the profit needs is, the cost needs to be subtracted versus an item that's $10 and you're only going to make a dollar. If I put something for cheaper, like $10, I might say I want to make 20% profit versus if I put something for hundred dollars I might make want it to be ten percent profit do you see what I'm saying so I'm gonna actually make more money with the less percentage in a higher priced item than I would be on a ten dollar item I think you get that so I'm just gonna leave it for sake of uh, getting started here I'm gonna leave it at 10 the break even point I'm not 100% sure how that works. I'm going to leave it as defaults. The default looks good. I'm in the United States, so I could connect. Oh, my bad. That That's not what I want. <laughs> I guess I should have read it. I did read it before, but that's just their Facebook information. So I'm going to get free hot products. I'm going to do source 100 items. And then I'm going to, that basically says you're going to get about eight sales per month with 100 items. All right, so it takes us to this page. It's a bulk upload. Now, now the break even, okay, what I just learned, there's a nice little question mark, is the percentage of the source product price. So if it's $10 and I have an 18.6 percentage of the product price, it would be $1.86. You want your product to cost more, so it would be $11.86. That's what I'm reading this as. Or you could do additional product profit in a dollar amount or a percentage additional profit but an additional percentage you want to add to the final price after calculating a break even so if I break even at 1186 and I add another 10 percent I'd add another 11 a dollar 86 I'm gonna say that's probably a good enough uh, percentage um, little tied limited time sale 30 day returns I'm going to just do best quality price, 30 day returns, just something simple. So that's cool. You have a template to basically uh, put put with your products. Uh, quantity, I always go with three. Uh, it shows urgency, but it also shows somebody if they want two of them, which sometimes people do, that they have that choice. Um, set policies, eBay policies is fine with me. Again, in my other video, I went... And you can look at, I'll put it in the link below on how to create your own policy. So I went in and created PayPal number one. I created my return policy in my, my new store and the shipping policy. I'll, have, I'll link it, put it in the link below. Um, upload variations as well. Enable out of stock items. Upload, no, I don't want out of stock items. Um, and let's just upload actually I'm gonna schedule uploads um, I think it's better if you spread out your uploads um, so let's again this is my first time listing and this is pretty simple so far 
I'm going to schedule stuff for, let's, let's see, February. I like to schedule stuff on the evening because what I've noticed over the years is people buy the most on a weeknight between the hours of 6 and 9 local time. So that I live in the eastern side of the United States, so the eastern time, like 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. eBay lists things in Pacific time. So when you list something, and I'm not sure what this is, I, I assume it's going to target my location because of my application. It's I want to list some at 6, and I want to list some, or, or sorry, that's military time. I'm going to list it at 6 p.m. today, um, and sleep minutes. Okay, so this is how much time in between listings. So I'm going to put like 15 minutes in between so it's spaced out just a little bit more and then it says are you sure okay so this warning is saying are you sure you want to list variations so no i'm not sure so i'm actually going to go back and i'm going to uncheck that why am i not sure because right now at least for for right now i just know that that's going to require more work um, and I'm going to have to go in and make sure the variations match up with everything. And I just don't want to do that right now. So it's great to have a variation option though, in my opinion, uh, because that can really skyrocket your sales. So I'm going to go back. That's not the right time. I need 8 PM or 18, which is 6 PM Eastern time. I'm just wondering if some people would have an issue with figuring that time out as much as I do. Okay, that's not not today. Okay, this is today. Somehow I got on the wrong day. All right, so I'm going to upload it. I'm going to continue to just click. It's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And sleep time, again, I'm going to put 15 minutes. Select. Are you sure you want to upload those products? It will be uploaded on eBay to the user Sphinx Security. Okay, I'm going to schedule products and it's going to be uploaded to my eBay account that is linked in the beginning. Now, if you want to add another eBay account, you can, you can add, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know that, you know, that option would exist, but you can upload it to other accounts and add a different eBay account, which I am already in the process of doing all that. So Thanks for watching my video, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you want more information like this. Click the bell to be notified in your text app or phone or whatever other application you're using to watch the videos. Like it if you like my video, but most importantly, if you could comment. This lets me know what you're interested in, what your needs are, and how to tailor my videos in the future. And thanks for watching Home Business Experts.